Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bobcats have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. should be a great college football game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Tackle at about the 31. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have played fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. Slings it. Brought down at the 31. Ohio is still riding high after that record-setting performance a week ago, but he better get back to work, get his feet back on the ground. Those awards are great, but uh, the old saying is you can't rest on your laurels. He's got to get back to work here. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Tackle made around the 21-yard line. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Sand, block, 90. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. First and ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. They go to the left for a nice game. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. They're about four yards away here on third down. They run it 
for the first, and he stops. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Fourth down. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he throws right away. Almost picked off. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop right around the 40. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. 7-3, Chippewa. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Throw. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, first down. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. Gaining two yards. That'll make it 67. He fights forward to about the 26. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 26. They bring him down. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre-snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table, and that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. Time out of the half here. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Absolutely. Nice pass play here. The quarterback shows some guts here, throwing this one into coverage with good accuracy. And again, great timing on the throw. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. From the 46-yard line, second down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Throws out and through his hands.
Pressure coming. Passes and it's almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. They'll line up with five wide receivers. One's incomplete. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. We're about set to start things up again. All day, just like that. Just like that. They come out in a five wide set. Scrambling around. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. And he's tackled at the 10. Quick out to his receiver. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And down he goes, right around the two yard line. Makes it second and two. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Let's go. very effectively on their last drive which ended with a touchdown the defense has been talking it over on the sideline trying to make some corrections let's see if they can stop them this time i love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers these guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense and right now it's really paying off second and ten ball on the 30 yard line there are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. Tries to get around the corner. He's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 42. They come out on an empty backfield. He scrambled. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. Ohio is up a field goal. And he's tackled in the open field. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. First and goal. 
And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. A receiver and he dropped it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Ohio holds a field goal lead. Around the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Ready, point and yank. Here's the pitch and now the ball is free. Nice run there. That time the option play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping over. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Central Michigan's up by four. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. He runs with it and he's got room. At the corner, he gets hit out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 37. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of that. Brought down right around the 32-yard line.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Receivers got it on the screen. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds around the 10-yard line. We've got a first and 10, 10 yards to the end zone. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just over two minutes in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. Central Michigan will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. run up the gut. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. From their own 33-yard line. First down. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. Some surprisingly good ball carrying skills by the big fullback. If he can do more of that, this offense will become even more potent. From their own 43 yard line, it's first down. Run to the left there. That's a five That brings him second and five. He's at the 30, and he's finally brought down at the 10-yard line. and 10 following that big run just over a minute in the fourth quarter We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He 
takes a knee. Cats know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.